from the moment I wake up until I lay my head, I used to play video games. I said, Dad, if you dare to touch my Xbox, I'm gonna bring my friends and we're gonna kill you. I wasn't just an atheist, but I was an arrogant atheist. Stop talking to me about God, it's a joke. Like, why am I gonna believe in this? I was in my room, it wasn't even cold in my room, and my whole body started to shake. My name is Harry, I'm Armenian, I'm 23 years old, and I'm here to share my testimony how Jesus saved my life. When I was a kid, I used to believe in God, my mom, I remember, used to bring me to uh, the Armenian Orthodox Church in Montreal. And I remember I used to pray, I used to believe in God, up to the age of five years old, five, six years old. And I was pretty radical about it. I remember very well when I was four or five years old, and in school, um, I had some friends that used to use the middle finger, for example. And, uh, and back in the days, the middle finger was a big deal. And uh, so, and I remember in the cafeteria while we were eating, they were using the middle finger and, and I stood up and I told them, hey, God gave you 10 fingers, use it properly, you know? I remember this. But then at the age of six, seven years old, I, um, I got into new age, science, um, evolution, Big Bang, all this stuff, atheism. So I started believing in aliens and stuff like that. There was a lot of people that spoke to me about God, Christians, Muslims, and I always laughed at their face, in their face. You know, I, I just laughed at them. I just told them, your God is stupid. I was an arrogant atheist. I wasn't just an atheist, but I was an arrogant atheist. I was really into video games. I would just play video game after video game, game after game all day long, from the moment I wake up until I lay my head, I used to play video games, you know? From 9 a.m. I would wake up to 1 a.m. I would go to sleep, just games and games. And my mom, I remember, used to bring me the food in my, in my room and I would just eat it up and, and just like leave the dishes there and she would come and pick the dishes up. I was living like a king, but I was, I was living in depression. I was, I was just in my room playing games and I wasn't really part of the real life, you know? And I remember this one time, actually my dad was against video games, me playing video games. He wanted me to go out and learn a trade, learn something, you know? So this one time he told me, my dad told me, hey, I'm gonna put your Xbox in the garbage. And I told my dad, I said, dad, if you dare to touch my Xbox, I'm gonna bring my friends and we're gonna kill you. I remember very well, I was like 14 years old, I told my dad that. I wasn't actually going to do that. It was just a tactic of fear, like, so that he doesn't touch my Xbox. But, but just the fact that I said that to my dad shows how much I was attached to my video games, you know? So a lot of people spoke to me about God. Uh, I remember in school, I had Muslim friends, Christian friends, and they always used to tell me, hey, we come from God. God created you. But I used to believe we came from monkeys. I told them, no, God didn't create us. We, 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 we came from monkeys, you know? And I would have this debate with them in school, uh, with Muslims and Christians, you know. The Christian would tell me, hey, you gotta believe in the Bible. And I would tell them, hey, why am I gonna be able to believe in the Bible? It's just a book. And uh, yeah, so I was really arrogant. I was, just, I was not just an atheist. I was like very prideful, very radical in my beliefs. So in 2017, I was living with my father and my uncle actually from my uncle came to Canada as a refugee from, from Syria. And he was a born again Christian. And my, my dad also was an atheist. So they started talking about God. My, 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 my dad started asking questions about God to my uncle. Hey, why do you believe in God? Why did God do this? Why did God do that? So I was always listening to them talk about God. So then my dad gave his life to Christ. And then my dad was talking to me about Jesus. And I, I told him straight up in his face, I told him, Every time you talk to me about Jesus, I think it's a joke. Stop talking to me about God, it's a joke. Like, why am I gonna believe in this? So, but then in 2017, when I was 17 years old, there was a French Bible in my house. And um, I just told myself, hey, let me give it a shot. Let me just take it. I had nothing to do that night. I just took the Bible, I went to my room. I opened it up from Genesis, as usually how you start reading a book from the beginning. And I started reading Genesis, Genesis 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And I remember I was in my room, it wasn't even cold in my room, and my whole body started to shake. And I just kept reading, uh, chapter 1, chapter 2, I went to bed, and the next morning I woke up, 
I, I, I was changed. I was transformed. I started loving the things of God. I started loving to read the Bible. I started loving to pray. And that's a miracle by itself. But then my uncle told me, hey, you should read the New Testament. Because I was reading Genesis. I went up, up to Exodus also. But then my uncle told me, hey, you should start reading uh, the New Testament, the, the life about Jesus, you know. And then I told them, yeah, where can, I, where can I find this book? Where can I find this New Testament? And um, he told me, yeah, it's, it's in the same book. Just, just scroll up a little bit, you're gonna find it. So I scroll up the book and I found, oh, there's a New Testament. And I start reading Matthew. And without even, without even anybody telling me that I need to repent, without even anybody telling me that, hey, you need to be born again, you have to accept Jesus in your life. Just by reading the book of Matthew. I remember I was in my room a couple of weeks after I was in my room and I, was, I got on my knees. I was like, Lord, I need you. Lord, forgive my sins. Lord, purify me. Lord, I make you the Lord and Savior of my life. Lord, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you're the Son of God and I believe that you rose again on the third day. Since then, I, just, I gave my life to the Lord in 2017 and never looked back. Look. Jesus changed my life. I went from atheist to theist. I went from being arrogant to, to a believer in Christ, you know, and it hasn't been an easy journey. There, ha there, there is some easy moments and there are some difficult moments. And you know, Jesus never promised an easy life, but he promised that he is gonna be with us always. And he changed my life. This is, this is the way God changed my life. And this is the way that God can change your life. My friend, ask yourself this question. Do you need a savior? Because you do need a savior. You need someone to wash your sins. Jesus can pay your debt and pray to him tonight. Say, Lord, are you real? Lord, if you are real, reveal yourself to me. Because if he revealed himself to me, then he can reveal himself to you. And he can save you, he can transform you, he can save you from sin, he can save you from addiction. So my friends, this was my testimony. This is how Christ changed my life. And I hope it blesses you. Thank you.